Welcome back to EW.com. We are here at the Hard Rock Suite uh, at Comic-Con all weekend long. My name is Grady Smith, and right now I'm joined by Katie McGrath and Colin Morgan from Merlin. How are you all? Very good, how are you? Terrific. Yeah. Um, I know, y'all are kind of giggling. I was really <laughs> excited. We were all quiet right before we went on, and now we're all excited <laughs> again. Um, so you all are getting, you're gearing up. Your fifth season of Merlin is going to start airing on Sci-Fi in winter time-ish, but you're here, you're doing your panel tomorrow, mm -hmm. and what can fans kind of expect from that? Um, well, we're, we've, we've got some, we've got, I think we've got some big kind of spoilers like, for, for coming up for, for, the, for the new season for the panel tomorrow. Um, the Comic-Con fans here are going to be the, the first um, in the world to get a sneak peek of what season five is going to look like, so that's a, that's a big exclusive. So that hasn't even... Even across the pond, no one's no seen one. that. No one. We haven't even seen no. it. We don't know. So I that's had, a big one. I had to carry the tape over in, <laughs> bizarrely, for some reason, the quickest person to get it over to do the test was, was me and Colin. Yeah. And we were sitting there with this tape of all <laughs> the spoilers going, if we, could find, you, you, if we could find something to play it on. You what, you get like, a ta like a VHS tape? It was like the digi tape for the thing. It was the backup okay. one, but it was like, you know, somebody might be able to pay it. We could just have a look. We <laughs> yeah. could check. But no, he's right. We haven't seen anything. We don't know. Nothing. Well, I'm um, guessing you know. We we know you we did know what's happening. Shoot it. Yeah, but we have no idea what it what what they're gonna what they're gonna reveal to people tomorrow. Okay. Um, which is which? Yeah, so be. I mean, we haven't seen anything from it, so it should be exciting. Do you can you kind of tease what's in store for your characters this season? At all, a little bit. Because you're throwing it back to me, I'm gonna die of nerves here. No, um, <laughs> my character. She's still. I'm, I'm just, I'm blanking, no, I'm not blanking. <laughs> My character this year, a lot of what happens to her um, is a result of the time she spent between seasons four and seasons five. So okay. Are we going to take a time jump? It's a three-year time jump. Okay. So the really nice thing for us as actors with this season is that we're all older. Yeah. You know, from the start of season one to now we're in season five, I mean, it's, it's a huge age jump. So you're, yeah. you're, you were playing, we were playing sort of, you know, very early early 20s at the start now I feel like we've all sort of started to play adults which for us I think is a really a great change yeah, and was, you feel it mostly in this season okay mm. I think so because it was always going to be a, a growing up tale for, mm. for all of us and I think uh, to reach this stage now there's there's not a lot of guest stars we do have some brilliant guest mm. stars I mean we've got Liam Cunningham coming in you know at the mm. beginning which is we've Amazing. got some great people uh, coming in but the stories are more focused now on mm -hmm. on the legends that we're going to become. And the characters they've already established, you know, so it's it's sort of more, you know, Merlin's show, really. It's, yeah. it's all about comedy. I know, it's nice to be on a show where you can say, <laughs> we're focused on the legends that we're going to become, whereas some show, I mean, if you're on Lost, it's like, well, we don't know what we're focused on because we're probably going <laughs> to yeah. die next episode. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you at least know you get to end as a legend. Yeah, um, yeah. How do your American fans that you're meeting here at Comic-Con, how do they differ from the fans over in the UK? Uh, they're a lot less reserved because uh, in the UK they're a little bit. Do you find I don't know, but the fantasy genre and the and the and the fan base that it attracts, I think, is united in the fact that they're very passionate, um, and and seeing that passion firsthand at an event like Comic Con is is it's a whole load of things. It's gratifying. It's in, it's enthusing. It's 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 everything that you kind of need when you're halfway through shooting a season of a show that mm -hmm. you get into it and, you, and suddenly you meet people who, who have been watching it and have got a real energy from it. They're, they're really over here actually I find they're very grateful. Yeah. They're extremely grateful that you've come over and to mm -hmm. support it and to meet them and, and everything like that. And Carl's completely right. When, when you're filming it, and we film quite a long time, you tend to forget that people are going to see it and forget that people love it. Mm. And when you come here and everybody's so thankful and so lovely and so excited, it makes mm -hmm. you feel excited about what you're doing again, you know? And, yeah. and it gives you, because we've got, what, another four months to shoot? Mm -hmm. And it re-energizes you for that four months. I know, I feel like just by having an accent, you're probably like... The cred at Comic Con, like that's the everyone wants that like fantasy accent, especially like Game of Thrones now over here is yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's like that's what I've learned this weekend is that everyone is 
But I like to think about Game of Thrones is there's a lot of actors who, before they were in Game of Thrones, were in Merlin. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we prepared them yeah, we, for we, Game of Thrones. Yeah, we did. Merlin is like, you can't really do Game of Thrones unless you've done Merlin yeah, we first. We give them the medieval train in the yeah. background. Yeah, it's like Merlin training. casts spells on their neck to be like really tender so they can just get beheaded right yeah, on, exactly. on Game of Thrones. It's the training yeah. ground, I think. <laughs> I love that. I know, have you seen, have a lot of being, I mean, are people dressed up in, in the Merlin costumes? I guess you'll see it. Tomorrow at the panel for sure. We've already seen some. We have we had two girls dressed up as Merlin. Um, what was really sweet was one of them was dressed up as Merlin as Merlin, and then another one has like made it a feminine version of it. Yeah. So they like took a nice little twist on it. Merla. Yeah. yeah when did emo Merlin? Yeah. Remember the emo Merlin? There's an emo Merlin. Emo. Yeah. What nobody, was? Nobody was dressed up as Morgana. I'd like to point out. Well, she's know. not the nicest. <laughs> I'm just oh. saying. Oh. But people so the oh, right now. Oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> um, this is awkward. Uh, it's actually awkward because we're uh, pretty much ready to wrap. Oh, um, look at that. I know. Um, but Merlin will be airing this winter. 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 Yeah. Gosh, I keep wanting to say summer, but yeah. it won't. This winter on Sci Fi, and you can catch it there. And at tomorrow at your panel, fans are going to see an exclusive. Sneak peek at what to expect yeah, in season time. five. This so see you guys there. Yeah, you heard it here first. Anyway, stay tuned to EW all weekend long for full Comic-Con coverage, and we'll see you soon.